Mobile Geeks coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and what we have right here is the Trek Store Surf Tab Wintron 10.1. It's a long name, but it's a pretty decent tablet for a very low price because this Windows 8.1 machine is coming out at a base price of just 230 euros, which is just under 230 euros. Um, for which you get a 10-inch display. I'm just going to get it quickly out of its uh, dock right here. So we have a 10-inch IPS panel. Viewing angles are pretty decent, actually. Uh, 1280 by 800 IPS panel. Feels pretty light, but what's interesting about this is the pricing. Again, starts out with 229 for a version with 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of flash storage. There's going to be a 64 gig model and a 3G model, and the 32 gig version, including this keyboard dock right there, or keyboard uh, folio case plus the 3G modem is going to be just 319 euros which is a very good price for the German market and it's even probably going to be even cheaper in other countries outside of Germany. There's going to be a pro model of this where you have 64 gigs of flash storage, 3G modem and the case and a full HD screen in here for just 369 euros so that's another very very good price on a device like this. Under the hood we have the well-known or nowadays well-known and often used Atom Z3735 running at 1.33 gigahertz going up to 1.86 or 1.83 gigahertz I'm not really sure about that on the quad core right there and uh, yeah let's take a quick tour around it we have a 2 megapixel camera on the front I think on the back we get a 5 megapixel shooter right there and let's take a quick look at the sides here let's see headset jack full-size USB 2.0 port, very nicely done there. Micro HDMI out, and that's the power jack right there, so they're not charging through the micro USB, but going with a separate um, power adapter. At the bottom, you get a couple of docking ports, so that's where you put the device into the keyboard dock, and on the right side, you'll end up with a micro USB port right there, plus the volume rocker, and the power button. Up top, there's pretty much nothing, and now let's look at the back, and let's just tell me if this reminds you of something. Yes, it looks like a Galaxy S5, for example, so it has this dimpled pattern, which actually looks pretty nice on a 10-inch device in this case. They've even copied the, the design of the, um, of the speaker grills there, so those look like the back of the Galaxy S5 too. Again, that's a 5-megapixel camera, and if you open up this flap, that's where the micro SD card goes and the micro or the SIM card, it's a micro SIM card slot right there uh, for your 3G modem. So you also get a, an optional uh, keyboard. The key keyboard is 40 euros if you buy the tablet by itself or in a package deal it's probably going to be a bit cheaper. Um, it feels a bit flimsy but these are still pre-production models and it has a clickable keyboard and it just folds like this in the back so you can pull it up like uh, to make it stand up straight. There's a bunch of different versions of folding this up so I think my colleague just did that and that's the other way of folding this up. And if you want to take it out, just fold the whole thing together and you're ready to go. So that looks, looks like a pretty decent package for a very low price. And the, one of the reasons why the price is possible is because they're using Windows 8.1 with being on this machine. So I was rolling with Mobile Geeks checking out the SurfTab Wintron 10.1 3G or without 3G at IFA 2014. And if you like what we do on our channel, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you later. Bye. Mobile Geeks coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Mobile Geeks coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and what we have right here is the Trek Store Surf Tab Wintron 10.1. It's a long name, but it's a pretty decent tablet for a very low price because this Windows 8.1 machine it's coming out at a base price of two, just 230 euros, which is just under 230 euros, um, for which you get a 10-inch display. I'm just going to get it quickly out of its uh, dock right here. So we have a 10-inch IPS panel. Viewing angles are pretty decent, actually. Uh, 1280 by 800 IPS panel. Feels pretty light, but what's interesting about this is the pricing. Again, starts out with 229 for a version with 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of flash storage. There's going to be a 64 gig model and a 3G model and the 32 gig version including this keyboard dock right there or keyboard uh, folio case plus the 3G modem is going to be just 319 euros which is a very good price for the German market and it's even probably going to be even cheaper in other countries outside of Germany.